PK in the universe, and I am back again with another video. A while back, I had made a video about the game Quest 64, also known as Holy Magic Century over in Europe and Eltel Monsters over in Japan. This is a game that is kind of polarizing amongst the retro gaming community. A lot of people maybe have bad memories of playing it. I took a very different approach in my video because I had played it when I was a kid, didn't like it, revisited it this time, and actually really enjoyed it. So if you haven't seen that video, perhaps consider checking it out. It's, it's a little bit long, but I make some really good points, I like to think. So anyways, but let's get on to the topic. You know, uh, I like Quest 64. I like Evercade. How do I bring these two topics together? And that's what I'm doing with this video is I want to talk about the Game Boy Quest games or Holy Magic Century games or Eltail games, whatever you want to call them, because they have different names in different places. So why would these two games come to Evercade? The two Game Boy games. That's right, I have both of these actually. Um, this is called Holy Magic Century in Europe, but it's called Quest Fantasy Challenge here in the United States and North America. And this is Quest RPG Brian's Journey. And uh, this game came to the North America, but in Japan it's called like Elemental Tale Jack's Adventure or something like that. It never actually came to Europe, just like uh, Quest Fantasy Challenge didn't come to Japan. So both these games are missing in certain markets. But why would Blaze try to get these particular games? I mean, why? And I think there's a lot of value in these games. I mean, talk about the price point. To get these games loose, you would spend over $60. I paid $48 for my loose copy, loose copy, not even complete in box, of Quest RPG Brian's Journey for, yeah, 48 bucks. Whereas Quest Fantasy Challenge, I think I spent about 14 bucks and sometimes it goes for like 10, you know, give or take. This is all with shipping and handling and tax and stuff like that. So, so yeah, it'd be pretty cool to see these games on one cartridge. And Imagineer, you know, is the creators of the Quest games, and they aren't some defunct company from the early 2000s or anything. They're still around. They actually make the fitness boxing games or whatever on Nintendo Switch. They have a whole series of it. So they still exist. They're still making, like, educational kind of games and sort of stuff like that. So it's not like they don't exist. So, so I was thinking, what if Blaze, you know, tried to contact them, you know, and try to see, hey, could we put these two games on one dual cartridge? And wouldn't this fit right at home on the Super Pocket? That's right, folks. I did get a Super Pocket. I got the Taito one, and I'm having an absolute blast with it. I plan to do a follow-up video to that, so stay tuned for that in the future. I think this would be mutually beneficial for both Blaze and Imagineer. Blaze obviously should get more games on the system. The more games, the better. It's two Game Boy games. One is an RPG that is, I think it's over 10 hours, I wanna say. And the other is Quest Fantasy Challenge, which is a Mr. Do clone. I could see a lot of people in the Evercade Discord playing Quest Fantasy Challenge as, you know, as one of like Katie's challenges. You know, there's this thing called Katie's Challenge where people see, to see to, who can get higher scores and stuff like that you know, or who can do the best kind of thing. So I would love to see that. So that would be pretty cool. So you get two games at a much more affordable price than buying these individually for loose cartridges on a Game Boy. Now, I don't think Quest 64 would play on Evercade. So that's to me out of the question, totally. But how would this benefit Imagineer? I think it would benefit Imagineer because Evercade owners could be like the test market for it. Like what if Imagineer sees how well these are doing and how people are enjoying these games, they might be like, oh, maybe we should release a Switch cartridge since they already released games for Switch anyways. So yeah, the Evercade community could literally be the test market to see if we get a Quest Trilogy compilation on Nintendo Switch. I also think it would be great to see it because, you know, it would shine light on these games because there's a lot of negativity about these games and I'd like to see more people, you know, play them actually, you know, but the problem is they aren't you know, available on any digital store. They're not being sold physically anywhere except on the used market. So it would be really cool to see them re-released somewhere. And they're both Game Boy games, so it wouldn't be too demanding. Um, so I think it would be pretty cool, you know? And some people might be like, but it's two Game Boy games, you know? I mean, people spent $35 on Full Void, which is like four hours long. But anyways, yeah. <laughs> On my Quest 64 video, I talked about how Quest 64 feels like an 8-bit game that somebody made in 64-bit graphics. And a lot of people have talked about how they enjoy Quest RPG Brian's Journey 
because of some of the little details, some little extra things. Plus it's, you know, plus it's an eight bit style game. So it actually kind of makes more sense that the story is more simpler and people are more accepting of that because it's an eight bit game. But they have added a few little details here and there. This game is a D make, but I like to think of it as a D imagining because in a lot of ways, yes, it's pretty much the same story as Quest 64, but there's a few little extra details that were put in. You know, the intro's a little bit different. There's a part where you actually save a princess. So I think, yeah, I think people would be more receptive to Quest RPG Brian's Journey than maybe they would be Quest 64. So overall, yeah, I think this would be a great collection to see on Evercade. But what are your thoughts? Would you like to see a Quest collection or Holy Magic Century collection or Eltale collection or whatever you want to call it on Evercade. I think it would be a great platform for it. That's just my opinion, but what are your thoughts? Comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and stay awesome in this universe. Thanks. Bye.